tune in to the Chris and Wayne Show every Thursday night at 8 o'clock on Terramaniaradio.com. Up aboard the haunted ship of doom and join Captain Chris. It was the government secretly outside of the studio. Skipper Wayne. I think it's time you get the cracking out of your butt. That wench, Joe. Yeah, I got stuck on the corner. And of course, cabin boy Todd. Oh, look where I'm sitting. And always remember our motto. Don't just listen to the mayhem. Be a part of it. Hosted by forensic psychologist Sarah Sodelin and mentalist entertainer Matt Purcell. State of Mind is a show that features mentalism, mystery, and modern psychology. With twists of cognitive process and challenges of the mind. News, discoveries, banter, and guests that talk all things fascinating. Join them every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern on ParamaniaRadio.com. Views expressed and the opinions given by the individual hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect those of Paramania, its affiliates, or its sponsors. You are listening to Paramania Radio. Welcome to uh, Leo Bonomo and Sue Breed on Paramania Radio. Uh, if you want to call us, it's 919-295-0150 uh, if you're in the States. If not, you can Skype us on Paramania Radio or you can join us in the chat room. It does get quite lively at times, so I'm told. Um, <laughs> so, to, <laughs> to say the least, uh, when it does get a little political and stuff, uh, but, you know, controversy, that's, that's good, that's good. Um, so, tonight we're talking about um, passing and predictions and uh, uh, legally, uh, of course, you're not supposed to, although there are some mediums that are, are, um, are world-renowned for giving that information and people go there specially to them for that so there there is um that side of it um i'm sure it's the same in the states uh but here you're in in england you you're not supposed to give that kind of information there's lots of information you're not supposed to give um so it, it's quite a controversial uh, subject isn't it uh, so it certainly is yes um actually i remember having a conversation once with colin fry hmm and he went to um, a medium who told him when he was going to pass and how he was going to pass. Ah. Yeah. So, um, and, of course, as you <clears throat> know, everybody knows now that he has passed. Mm. And um, never, he never did say when or how. Mm. He just said that he knew you know, the age that he was going to pass and, and how. Oh, that's, you, you know, I think, um, cause, uh, uh, like you, Sue, um, I read for a lot of mediums and sometimes a medium will come across and they'll say, look, my mum's really ill and they've got a feeling about when it kind of is. And so as a, uh, I suppose it's a professional courtesy, you know, you can't say, well, uh, I'm also being given. Um, but I always qualify that with a confirmation of some kind because it's so easy, isn't it, to say, um, oh, you'll be rich one day, whatever. And in 20 years' time, no one's going to remember what you've said. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, well, I mean, it, yeah, but this is something, you know, that you <laughs> taking responsibility seriously, you yeah. know, um, I've actually said to people before now, I'm not a fortune teller. Mm. If you want somebody to tell your fortune, then go see a card reader. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because this isn't what it's all about. This is about proving that there is life after. 
Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And I know that proof comes in all different ways, but um, that that is what it is. And, and people um, seem to misunderstand that, don't they? As yeah. you say, they, they want fortunes told. I used to have on my cards printed, I do not tell fortunes, just yeah. to, so people got it straight, you know, about what it is that we do. Because we do get mixed up with, uh, well, genuine mediums do get mixed up with end of the peer stuff. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, because I know there's a lot of um, longstanding uh, gypsy lines that do that. Um but you, you know, there's there's a too fine a line, I think, between entertainment and cross my palm with silver and mm. genuine mediumship. And I know there might be some mediums out there who might get upset about that. Um, but there is that that line that's there, and I think professionally we have to define who we are and what we do, and, and you, you know, kind of put a framework around it. Um, the reason that um, uh, this subject came up because um, I had some interesting news this week, and uh, uh, God, where's that gone? Um, oh God, hold on, I'm looking for that. Yeah, um, <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm doing a bit of a blog. It wouldn't come up. I could just get one sheet, not the one I was trying to look for. Um, I'm doing a bit of a blog, and it's called "The Effects of Mediumship and Spiritual Work," and. Um, uh, I had some news this week. It's the second, uh, this is going to sound really good. So um, this is the second illness or condition that I've got that is supposed to be incurable. Um, fibromyalgia is one. Hemochromatosis, uh, which is iron overload, uh, where it's nothing to do with diet. The liver just goes absolutely nuts and overproduces iron. <clears throat> um, and I, I got some, some news um, this week and basically what they were saying was um that my ferritin the iron level is absolutely normal now um i've missed an appointment for over a year so it should be quite high um but it seems to me that as they've confirmed that ferritin levels are normal um it's either cured itself which it doesn't do um, or there's been a cleansing of some sort. And this is the third time that's happened to me. Um, uh, so I'm doing a little blog about that. Uh, but the other interesting thing is, and I have mentioned it before, is that when I was four, I had a little four-year-old Asian girl read for me, and she says, you're going to live to be 100. Um, oh, and oh. I was thinking about that today. I oh, know. Well, it sounds great when you're young, doesn't it? And then you get off. <laughs> You get halfway there and you think, oh, my God, how long have I got to go? <laughs> Life is too much. Um, but, um, yeah, so we uh, – um, oops. Uh, yeah, so um, that had um, – <laughs> Uh, sorry, David's just made a just made a comment there, um, which I, I won't say on air. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, it's great when you're young. Um, but I, I, the realization came today as I was looking through some of my notes and that um, that a lot of my family have passed in November. And then as I was thinking that, I got a nice big tick, and I thought, ah, so I'm going to pass in November in 2057. Um, so that's kind yeah. of how this this yeah. So that's kind of how this subject came up. Um, and I know for some people it's a really scary thing, um, you know, because I can imagine them getting to the date. And if you've got a bit of a fear of passing, thinking, "Oh my god, oh my god." Um, for me, uh, and I suspect for you, so and lots of mediums, it's it's actually quite a comfort. You know, because we're going home, we we know the transition isn't painful, etc. Um, but that started to get me thinking about, you know, people um, predicting um, passings and that, and uh, in sometimes uh, quite dubious circumstances, you know. Uh, well, I, I've got to say, this has happened to me three times. Hmm. Um, I went in to see my daughter one day while she was working. Hmm. And she was sitting next to this gentleman, and when I looked at my daughter, her face was fine. Mm. When I looked at the other guy to say hello, his face was out of focus. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. Um, anyway, 
I looked at him and looked away. And um, when my daughter came round afterwards, she said, um, what was all that about? Mm. You know, when you was talking to Peter, because she kept asking him, you know, are you all right? Yeah. And and I said, if I told you, I don't know whether you're, you know, yeah, ready. believe me or not. Yeah. Mm. Um, I said, I'm not quite sure because it's the first time it ever happened to me. Mm. Anyway, uh, that was on the Saturday. On the Tuesday, she phoned me and she said to me, Peter's been taken into hospital. Mm. Oh, OK. And then on the Thursday, she phoned me and said, he's passed. Oh. Yeah. So the second time it happened, I was actually sitting in traffic and there was a lady sitting at a bus stop. Mm. And when I looked at her, everybody else was all all right, but her face was out of focus. Oh. And I'm, I just kept sitting there thinking, I hope that bus comes along quite soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the third time was a friend of mine and I knew my friend wasn't very well at all yeah but it was as if her family was, wasn't taking it seriously you know oh yeah, um, yeah and she was sitting with me and I gave her a cup of tea and um I watched her trying to pick this cup up and she had to really focus on it to look mm. You know, now her face didn't go out of focus, but it just went really weird. Do you, you remember the original Batman with the, yeah. the Joker? With the Joker? Yeah. yeah. That's the way her mouth went. Oh. It was really odd. Um, and I'm looking at her thinking, wow, that's that's really weird, a bit freaky. Yeah. And um, two weeks later, she passed. Oh, it's interesting because uh, I'm not sure whether people in, in the States or the rest of the world would remember Michael Benteen, uh, a very oh, funny yes. comic. Um, yeah. And during the Second World War, he was um, he went into the RAF, not as a pilot, but as ground crew. Mm. And uh, he used to be obviously quite friendly with the young men that were flying the planes. And uh, he started to see their faces as skulls. That's right, and yeah. So he, he could tell everyone that was passing. And um, for him, it was obviously quite upsetting. And he got into the mode of, I'm not making friends because they'll all go. And so he become a, a bit sort of um, secluded in that way and uh, a little bit distant. But it, it was self-protectionism, you know, um, but he used to see that. So there, there are a lot of times, you know, when these predictions come through and you get them through history, you know, um, such and such a prophet has said that this king will die. Um, there was... Um, there was a famous one. I think it was Nostradamus, um, and he he predicted that the then king of France uh, would die through um, jousting, and uh, um, part of, of the uh, uh, part of a splinter would go through the eye, and mm. this this happened, and it's just after that that he used to make. Uh, the quatrains, it used to blur them all because uh, otherwise, especially being a French, well, French Jew, but especially being a Jew, um, it's never been easy. You know, uh, throughout history, they've been um, persecuted at different times. And so the reason that he started to mess the quatrains up was so they wouldn't be entirely legible because if people started reading the predictions and they started to happen, um, he could easily have been burnt as a wizard or a witch yeah. or whatever. Yeah. You know, so there's a, this whole big myth about, well, he didn't really, you know, he was just guessing this and guessing that, and you can make anything out of what he says. But that's the reason for it, because he got quite frightened, because he had told that king uh, during a, a private sitting, apparently, but a few people knew. And so when it happened, he got very frightened in case he would be persecuted. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, you, you know, it happens a lot. Um, 
there's uh, um, lots of people had premonitions about the Titanic going down. Uh, some of them so strongly that um, even if they paid uh, what's laughingly known as steerage, um, they paid their money, but they didn't go on the ship. Mm. Uh, you know, and there was actually, I can't think of his name now. Oh, my God. I might have to Google it during the break. There's a famous um, medium and uh, investigator uh, that actually went down on the Titanic. And he was told about it. Uh, but he still decided to go on the trip. Um, but uh, I can't think who it was now, but quite a famous medium. So um, uh, uh, these predictions are not new. I think we have a different attitude towards um, passing. And a lot of it, I think, to do is, is with the fear, you know, that people get. Uh, that's, that's right. Yeah, it is to do with the fear. You know, um, it, it just amazes me how... Some people can see and others don't, mm. you know. Um, back in March, um, I, uh, right, okay, I was working somewhere, but I wasn't very well. Mm. And it was supposed to be a two-day event, and I could only do the one. Yeah. Anyway, cutting a long story short, the guy that, um, met up with me to bring the bits and pieces that I left okay because I was supposed to go back the next day mm. a very very close um, friend of his had passed that morning ah. now I didn't know I didn't know so he's sitting there saying to me I said you look really tired and he said I've been up all night but I have to go, you know, to this particular place. And he was passing by my way, so we met up. Um, yes, he said, I've been, he said, what, what do you pick up from me? I said, for some reason, they're taking me around your chest. I said, but um, it just feels different, you know, mm. to what it would normally be. Well, apparently, it, it was his partner's father that had passed. And it was his heart, okay. Mm. Um, and then, you know, I gave him whatever. I, there was a message that came through as well, and I gave him the message. And, um, and he said, do you know when this gentleman passed? He said, I feel very, very privileged that I was there. Mm. He said, I'd never seen anybody pass the spirit world before. And there was like... Um, he said, like a sparkly, oh, how did he describe it? You know, like a light bulb. Yeah. Right, the shape of a light bulb. And he said it was like the shape of a light bulb, but it was all sparkly and really, really shiny. Mm. And that's when he passed. So uh -huh. I mm. said, so you're, you've seen the spirit leave the body? And he said, yeah. <laughs> And he said, I still feel like I'm in shock, not because he's passed, because we knew he was going to pass, but because I saw what I saw. Yeah, yeah. You know? Uh, I think depending on the circumstances, um, because some can apparently be more tragic than others, um, mm -hmm. but I think it's a beautiful thing to witness um, because uh, if you see something like that, then there is that confirmation, if you and I need it, which we don't, but there is yeah. that confirmation of knowing that there's that change. Um, scientists have actually weighed, um, with people's permission, they've weighed uh, terminally ill people in a laboratory, and the moment they pass, there's a, um, a two-ounce difference in the body. Mm. Which scientists being scientists say we can't explain that um, <laughs> um, yeah. but it, but it is apparently well the change is is apparently the weight of the soul um, yes yeah so i can it, totally believe that yeah yeah it, it, it's an amazing thing i mean we, we have all this proof in various ways um and yet there is still apparently a lot of difficulty with some of the scientific uh community uh, the media, uh, churches uh, and governments um, getting to grips with that. Um, and again, that's all power. That's all control. 
mm. you know, uh, um, and, and the fact that they, they may lose control, uh, which I can understand. But I think, um, you know, we, we often get attacked, don't we, saying, look, you know, where's your proof, this and that. and But they, they don't attack um, religions in the same way. Um, all religions believe in an afterlife, and they don't pack them in with us, even though spiritualism is a religion. They don't connect the two and say, well, it's all rubbish. Um, I can't imagine them saying that to Muslims. Um, or, well, or... yeah, funnily <laughs> enough, I, I did a reading um, the other day for a gentleman, and he um, came from Morocco. Mm. Originally, he came from Morocco. That's where his roots are. Um, and I said to him, I have a lady that's stepping forward with me now. I know your mother is still here. This is very much a grandmother figure that comes forward. Um, you know, and she's wearing headdress and so on, okay? Um, her hair is covered. Um, and he said, yeah, I described this lady and everything. Yes, he said, I understand that. And... Um, I said, but, you know, as she comes forward here, she's actually saying that as religions go, none of these religions understand anything because they can't understand it until they've passed to the other side. Yeah. You know, because I said she's actually saying that she's always uh, been told not to to go down the route that you're actually going now, to come to me as a medium to make connection with the other side. And he said, yeah. that's true. That is very true. Yeah. You know? So, but she came forward and she said, churches, religions, all of those, Islam, all of them, they don't understand because until you actually pass to the other side, how can you understand? Mm. And do you, yeah. that just made a lot of sense to me, you know? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, there's another um, very famous prediction, um, and it concerns uh, Custer and uh, Sitting Bull. And um, Sitting Bull... Uh, went into a trance uh, smoking whatever it is they smoke and he could see the defeat of Custer and uh, so that was another prediction that was made and um, you know C Custer was actually quite reckless you know and, and thought that um, uh, uh, thinking that well you, you know he can outmaneuver and he can outgun it was going to be essentially a walk in the park uh he obviously didn't know how many were going to turn up <laughs> yeah. but um uh, he he was cut off strategically anyway but sitting ball uh, made that prediction and it has been passed down um uh by tradition as everything there was very little written down um mm. by by the the uh, native americans uh and and so it's passed down by by tradition but that's another um uh uh, prediction that's come that way and of course people have predictions about pompeii uh and all kinds of uh natural disasters and and uh, even plane crashes you know so i think essentially it, it's something that we um are quite capable of picking up um but it, it's it's our attitude to it and i think if people understood what spirit was saying you know that there is an afterlife that everything's okay you know you do survive that transition then i think people would um approach this in a different way um to kind of turn this on its head a little bit you know uh, you might go to hospital and have some tests and that and they come back and say sit down mr bonomo uh, you've got cancer we think you've got three months to live um that's quite something uh it tends to carry more weight because we we believe or tend to believe doctors a lot more than perhaps mediums it obviously depends on on, on our experiences um but uh so, so those uh, uh that profession will give these predictions of you know you've got a year or so to go um i don't know how you feel about it so personally i find that quite comforting 
because um, uh, uh, because um, it gives you time to to plan. You know, rather than it being sudden, you can get your will in order. Um, you know, you might be able to do what we term now um, as um, uh, a bucket list and, right, I want to get this done before I go and I want to get that done. So I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. People take it different ways. So what do you think about that? Um, but me personally, I'd rather know. I, I feel that I would rather know, you know, yeah. that I'd yeah. only got a limited amount of time left because then, yes, you know, it, I would want to do certain things um, that maybe I haven't been able to do in the past, you know, um, yeah. or, you know, with my with my children. I don't know whether I'd, I'd like to tell them or not. I don't know. Um, my mm. family. But, yeah, I would rather know. Yeah, yeah, and and for me it's quite comforting. And uh, I was I was having a reading with someone some time ago, and uh, we were talking about this subject. And uh, they said to me that they could see me uh, lying on a couch, uh, obviously a hundred at that time, and um, and um, <laughs> j- just literally going to sleep and drifting off. And I thought, well, that's quite nice because um, I've I've had um, uh, recall of six lives. Uh, when I was developing and in each life I was murdered and uh, oh, I kind of said, you know, let, that, yeah. Yeah. And I thought, let's have a change. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we can. Yeah. Well, I, I must say I've been, I've had regression done and um, that's what made me really interested in it. And, mm. and each, each one of mine as well, I'd had quite an awful life you know one way or another um and be murdered yeah mm. um actually no one of them i wasn't but i actually was a prostitute mm. in in oh. a previous life not this one yeah. in a previous not this one. life oh, yeah. Yeah, he was okay. getting my hopes up then yeah in a um, previous life in victorian yeah. times yeah you know and um, that is something that um I've always been very, very interested in, you know, mm. Jack the Ripper and yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've always been really interested in that time and yeah. it is something that it did make me think, you know. Mm. But I don't know whether I I'll tell you what I did see. There was there was a lady that um is was a medium. She lived in Spain for quite some time. Came back over here, mm. okay, and she developed leukemia. Oh. Yeah. Um and one of the last pictures of her on Facebook was her and her family sitting um she was in the hospital bed. They were sitting around, and every single one of them had a glass of wine or um, champagne or something. Oh! And they were celebrating her life. And this I, is before I, she passed. I, I think that's a wonderful thing. I mean, there, there are societies that that do that. We're just going to have a break, and uh, we'll be straight back after that. We've got a couple of interesting things. Uh, uh, to tell you and something that um that dave uh, the producer wants to kind of uh of share with that so uh we're going into a break and we'll be straight back after this
Do you like ghost stories? Want to hear about some of the haunted homes and locations that I've investigated? Tune in for the latest in paranormal news and guest interviews with me, Mr. Haunted, on The Haunted Chronicles, Friday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, only on the Paramania Radio Network. Brock, I'm a little bummed since Tech Time ended. Yeah, me too. But you know what we could do to fix this? What? A new show. A new show about what? About all things paranormal. Not just technology, but everything. Brilliant. What would we call it? Hair Time with Brock and Doc. Cool. And it could air on Sundays at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Only on the Paramania Radio Network. Awesome. Welcome back. You're listening to, to Leo and Sue on Paramania Radio. If you do want to call in, it's 919-2950-150. You can Skype us on Paramania Radio or you can join us in the chat room. Um, I do believe we've got um, got a caller, so uh, uh, if, if that's all lined up. Hi, how are you? Okay, we should just... Um, uh, yeah, just apologising to the producer there. Um, he needs a second or two <laughs> to line it up, and that was that was me. Okay. Um, hi, who's this? Hi, hello. Hi, who's this? Hi, hi, Leo. This is Lynn. Oh, hi, Lynn. How are you? How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. You long time. How are you? <laughs> I, I'm really, really well. There's a kind of story behind that, which I I told at the start of the show, where um, uh, I firmly believe I'm regenerating and uh, uh, physically getting younger. And uh, so we open the show with that and predictions of passing. So, um, yes, Ooh, I yes. love that. I believe yeah, in so, that. So yeah. We, yeah. Well, for me, it's, it's a it's a slightly unnerving for perhaps all the wrong reasons. Um, yes, it's nice <laughs> to live while you're well and then go, but it just kind of reinforces in my mind that I've got you know another forty years. Um, <laughs> so that's no. that. Um, um, how? Uh, who, who do you want to read for you, uh, uh, Sue or myself? And just uh yeah, it doesn't just, matter just, um if what whatever either one i just have just in general if either one of you um you know if there is anything that either one of you feel or see that i should know um at this time okay um do you want to go for it sir or, or shall i um <laughs> I'm not actually, if I'm really honest with you, I haven't got anybody stepping forward at them. Oh, hold on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that yeah. makes me a lot. I, yeah. I, I have okay. no idea what I'm going to say. Oh, so I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like um, a lot. I, I do want to say to you, Lynn, I do have, um, right, I have a gentleman that is stepping close to me, and as he comes forward, he's telling me that he was, um, connected to you in life. Would you understand a father figure, please? 
I'm sorry, what, uh, what, what is it? Would you understand a father figure? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, my, my father. Um, I have actually father, a grandfather, uh, a oh. very dear uncle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bless you. I know that I have a father figure that is stepping close to me. Okay. Okay. He's, he's actually... He, as he comes forward here, he's talking about a celebration that's either just taken place or there's a celebration that will be coming forward. Oh, wonderful. Would you understand I this, that. please? I, I really feel that this is either a birthday or an anniversary. Okay. Well, I, um, I, um, I just... Uh, one of my daughters just had her birthday, but as far as celebration, um, I'm really planning and wanting to get together with with my mother and all three of my children and all of us. I've been kind of talking about wanting to do that. Actually, I was talking uh, this morning about wanting, you know, all of us to come together and do some things together. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you know, he was actually listening to the conversation. All right, okay. now he's he's telling me that he will actually be there as well. He will be there oh, yeah. as well. All right, yeah. now I do want to say to you, lovey, as this gentleman comes forward, I feel that he was a very well presented man. Mm -hmm. um, I know that he was quite articulate. And mm -hmm. he's saying to me that he's very happy with where you are in life at the moment. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Where does, um, sorry, would you understand somebody either, um, I'm not quite sure how to put this, um, <laughs> is somebody that works has quite a powerful position and I know that they are connected or linked to you. So whether this is um, a daughter that's in a legal in a legal position hmm. I don't know. He's, he's talking about something that is quite a powerful position or a powerful position to be in. Um, well, let's see, um, that could have, to, you know, I'm thinking if that would have to do with, um, my mother, perhaps, um, there is a, a family member that has, um, some sort of, um, but she doesn't live in, in, in the state I live in, and they're kind of like over, like, um, over her, um, um, financial uh, legal things right now. So oh, might... thank you. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, as, as he's coming forward here, he's saying to me um, that there isn't anything for you to worry about. Okay. I'm sorry, right. that there, there is what? I'm sorry. Shit. There's nothing for you I'm to sorry. worry about. Okay. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. I'm so glad to hear that. For the last two days, there, you know, I've been, you know, that's been on my mind. Yeah. Well, don't don't worry yeah. because you know she's in good hands. All right. Yeah. She's yes. in good hands, and she will be given good advice as well. Okay, lovey. Yeah. Now okay. he's he's just telling me to tell you that you really do need to get this um, celebration or anniversary. He's saying an anniversary celebration um, okay. together because it is something okay. that really does need to happen. Yes, he's he's yes. talking about people being too far apart from each other. Um, oh my and, god! You know the the distance is growing. Okay. Yeah. So he's yeah. saying, don't let it drift too much longer. You need to get everybody okay. together. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, lovey. Would you also understand, you like to read books, don't you? <laughs> I love books. I love books, yes. 
Yeah, that's right. Because you know he's saying what what you're reading is um, okay. Bless him. He's telling me that what you're reading is other people's opinions. Okay. Um, okay. Stories are good. Stories are good. <laughs> All right. But he is saying to me that you are reading a lot of other people's opinions, okay, which okay. can resonate okay. with you, lovey. And he's saying just take okay. what does resonate with you. The rest of it, yeah. leave in the book. Okay? Yeah. The rest of it, just <laughs> leave it in the book, okay? Exactly, okay. yes, yes. But he really wants to, to let you know, right, he really wants you to know, lovey, that he may not be with you in body, but he is with you in spirit, Okay. Right. Okay. When you when you see your mother, can you give her a very big hug from him? Oh yes. Oh yes. She will love that. Yes. Okay. Yes. He's giving me a rose to give to you as well, sweet. And he's telling me this is a white rose. It's a white one. Um, and he's telling me to tell you keep it near your heart because that's where it comes from. Okay. Okay. Right. Lynn, can I just um, interject here for a second? Um, would you oh, know yes. of a cousin that isn't very well? I'm given the name Jeff, but I don't think it's Jeff, but it's a J, it's a J name. Would that make any sense, okay. sense to you? Uh, um, did you say a cousin? Yeah, this is a cousin that's not very yes. well. Yes, I I I suspect it. I I suspect it. Um, I haven't seen him in a long time, but um, on the social media, I came across uh, something that he had, and when I looked at him, and I suspect it, and I I did tell um, uh, one of my children. I said, um, I don't think that he's you know in 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 very very good health. Yes. Right. I kind of suspect it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, because um, even though it's social media, um, I think it's the same gentleman that Sue's got. Um, but he's saying um, it would be great for him to hear your voice, just to say hello, okay. even if it's mm. brief. Um, he is going okay. for apart okay. from whatever condition there is. Um, He's going through a very stressful time, and this gentleman says okay. that you can see that from what he's written and also the way that he's written on social media. So would that make sense to you? Yes. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Um, I've j this gentleman's just yelled at something funny. Um, well, it's funny to me. He's, he's yelled at jam donuts. Um, usually if I get food or drink, it's something you love <laughs> or you hate. Um, I'm not quite sure where I stand with this, but obviously it's tickled something. But would that make any sense to you? He's just said it's a memory. Um, it's a memory. Does that make any well, sense yeah, to you? Um, yes, it does. <laughs> Okay, he's just giving that yes. to you as a confirmation that <laughs> just hearing your voice is really going to cheer your your cousin up. Bless him. Okay, um, <laughs> okay, we're going to let you go, Lynn. It's lovely to hear oh, from you again because you. uh, we've got another so caller. Much. You take care. Yes, thank you, Sarah. Thank you so much, Leo. Blessings. Bless you. Take care. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Okay. So, um, um, uh, uh, David, the producer, was just saying something that there was um, an EVP, uh, which is, a, 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 for, for want of a better phrase, a ghost recording. Something was said during that interview. So he's going to try and grab it so that we can play it back. Because um, at other times during the shows, notably when we were talking about, or I was talking about Dark Forces, Many episodes ago, um, we started to get a lot of weird things happening in the, in the studio. And then the week after and the week after that, so about three weeks running, we had lots of problems in the studios because uh, the dark doesn't like to be exposed and it doesn't like us to tell you how to deal with it and what to do and how to protect yourself. So we had a lot of uh, stuff going on. Um, but there was something being said uh, and David's trying to locate it now. Um, 
After he does, we've got um, uh, another lady called Laura who's on standby. So uh, once David has sorted those things out, then uh, uh, we can uh, we can chat to Laura. So if you're listening, Laura, uh, we won't be too long. We're just trying to isolate this this uh, uh, whatever was said. It was definitely a sound, but we're uh, trying to get it. Um, yeah. So Sue, so, uh, in the meantime, we we were talking about um, premonitions, weren't we, uh, and that kind of thing. Yes. Yes, we were. You know, this this is. I know you was talking about uh, Nostradamus. Mm. Um, you know, and many, many years ago as well, obviously people used to be very scared of um, saying anything because, you know, of mm. the witch trials and so on. And and it was very scary to people. So, yeah, you know, anybody that um, had any knowledge of anything – it would keep it to themselves. But uh, have you noticed that there's been an awful lot of films lately that have come forward that mm. um, are actually saying, you know, there's premonitions and and they're going forward in time to find out and, you know, it does yeah. make you wonder where all of these come from, doesn't it? So it must have happened or it's got to have happened for somebody to, you know, have put it down on paper and to put it forward on a film. Uh, absolutely um we're just going to go to um laura so um and then we'll, we'll continue this um after the next break hi laura how are you hi thanks for taking my call not a problem not a problem um uh oh uh <laughs> so, sorry um <laughs> the uh the, re- the reason I, I i kind of jumped then um i've got an image of a lady from the shoulders up i've got blonde hair there's a little fringe um it's kind of parted um oh god you know when you part the fringe at the top and it hang- hangs down then the rest of the hair is combed back i've got a small ponytail with that but the hair's more or less shoulder length um Uh, quite um, a pretty lady I would say petite if I see them from the shoulders um, they're definitely alive but I I can connect (laughs) very uh, (laughs) I can connect very that's all right Um, I can connect very strongly with the person on the end of the phone so am I describing you uh no well maybe I'm my hair is dyed blonde (laughs) right (laughs) Right. So, is is it styled? Yeah, it's not in a ponytail, though. Right. Okay. So, um, if it's not you, uh, would you know of a lady that has blonde hair, is quite petite, and um, uh, 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 that that you would know? Because it it would definitely, it's definitely somebody alive, and you should know them. Oh, someone who's alive. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know anyone like that. Okay, not to worry. Um, I'm just going to um, give you uh, what what I've got. Um, I can't see who's given me this information. They want to say congratulations. Now get on with it. That that's that's <laughs> basically the whole message. Would that make sense to you that you've done something which you need to be congratulated for, or you've got yourself into a position and now you need to do something with it? Would that make sense to you? You know what? I have a Skype interview tomorrow for a short-term contract. Maybe the woman that I'll be interviewing with might be that person. Ah, now I hadn't thought of that. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, It's been a bit of a fight to to get the interview. Would that make sense to you? Yes. I had to concede on some things and... I had to be flexible, and then they came back right. around, and now it seems to be working out. Okay, um, but you you know, in the end, it's actually going to be good for you. Um, they're written six six months, so I'm presuming it's a six month contract. If it's not and it's shorter, it will get extended to six months. Uh, but that's why I'm being shown. So would that make sense too? Well, yeah, probably because it's initially supposed to go about two to three months and he said there it maybe it might get extended so that would make sense 
Right, fantastic. Because I do feel you're going to do well. Um, I think um, I don't want to make you overconfident, but I think that it's been a bit of a battle to get it, and that's why um, whoever this is, in fact, I think it's a gentleman now. He's saying congratulations. Now get on with it. So give it your best shot. I know it's going to work well for you, but I know that as you work hard then um, that will be extended. He says you're quite intricate uh, and you you have a great eye for detail. So I don't know what work you do, but would that make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah, it would. I have to be, though, because I, I develop training. So ah. steps, I, you know, I break everything down and analyze everything. Yeah, nice. I, I've done I've, I've done that that job myself for a very short time in in a couple of positions that I've held. Um, uh, yeah, you can't miss anything because otherwise it looks as though uh, it looks a complete mess, doesn't it? Um, okay. Right. Um, uh, I've got a feeling that Sue will um, want to chip in as well in a moment. But have you got any question? Um, uh, any questions uh, uh, at all f- for me uh, before I hand you over to Sue? Well, I do, actually. I, I've i recently, within the past week, actually, have decided that I'm going to do contract work on the side, and I'm, I was hoping to see if I could start up a small business and get a loan so I can start buying some properties and flipping them try and make profit and maybe get into the landlord business. Do you see me making a success of that? Um, I do think it's possible. I actually saw some uh, wooden cladding before you gave me that information and the corner of a building, but I could only see part of it. Um, So I realized it was something to do with property there. Um, I know, again, you've got a great eye for detail, so that will enable you um, in in, uh, in that part of the work that you want to do. This gentleman is saying, take it slowly, learn as you go along. So I feel you have some knowledge, but it's still a process of learning for you. Would that make sense? Yeah, I do have some knowledge, but I definitely still have a lot more to learn. Yeah, because he said... I'm sorry. sorry. Did you say you saw a wooden? What did you say you saw wooden? What, um, wooden claddings. Wood? Yeah, wooden planks on the on the, on the on this building. Uh, but I could only see corner of it. Um, it doesn't look that big actually. But there was wooden planks there. But it actually looked a natural colour. Um, it wasn't painted or that, so I could see knots in it. So I don't know if that has more significance for you. Um, it may have been emphasized to me that it's wood and, and done in that way. Um, but w- would that have any relevance for you? Well, there's a townhouse. I wanted to get a single house, but maybe for the first property I could get the townhouse. And the townhouse actually has wooden... Um, shingles all on the front of it and it's surrounded by like cedar the cedar right. shingles. you know what i'm talking I, about is that what you I saw think. Um, I think it was, we, we would use planking or cladding. Uh, I, I think the American term is shingles for it. So that makes a lot of sense. Um, so this gentleman is saying, you, you know, um, it is something that you can do. But again, just be careful. Um, you're, you're very much learning at the moment. Learn what you can. Just take it easy. Um, uh, Thank you. Can you... That no problem. Um, we've actually got um, a few minutes uh, left before the break. Uh, can you hang on, Laura, till after the break and, and speak to Sue then? Absolutely. Thank you. No problem, because I, I know Sue's got some information for you, so that'll be great. So if we can maybe um, get into the break uh, a minute or two early, if that's possible. Uh, if not, we can keep chatting. Uh, but if, if we can, then that's great. Okay, so we're going to go into the break, and we'll be back with Laura straight after this. Okay.
Come explore all things spiritual with Vicki and Jen as they take a look at mediumship, empathy, psychics, readings, and much more. Check out Beyond the Beyond Star, 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 Star with Vicki Johns and Jen Young Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific, only on the Paramania Radio Network. If you would like to be kept up to date on upcoming show information and events here on Paramania Radio, then please take the time to click on the like button above the chat room to like our Facebook page. And click on follow to follow us on Twitter. Thank you for listening to Paramania Radio. You are listening to Paramania Radio. Hi, welcome back. You're listening to uh, Sue and Leo on Paramania Radio. Um, if you do want to call in, it's 919-290-150, or you can subscribe to Paramania, or you can get into the chat room and join us there and ask some questions. Um, before the break, we were on with Laura, and uh, we're just going to have Laura back because uh, Sue's got some information for her. Hi, Laura. Hi. Hi, Laura. This is Sue. Hi, Sue. Um, Hi. Can you hear me okay, lovely? Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Good. Okay. Um, Laura, I want to say to you, lovely, that I know uh, when you was, or uh, when Leo was talking to you earlier, um, they was putting uh, contracts or terms and conditions that were coming forward for you. I want to say to you that, you know, I know you were saying about this Skype um, interview that you have tomorrow. I do yeah. feel that there is going to be, you know, something good that does come out of that, all right? But I am going to say to you that there is going to be a long-term contract that will be coming forward, all right? Now, whether it is with this particular company or whether it is another one that is coming forward, um, I do also want to say to you, I know that Leo was talking about um, real estate, okay, or a yeah. house, but I am going to say to you, I, you know, I'm being told that this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. It's something that's going to take a long time for that to come forward. There's... A lot of different things that will be taking place around you, around your career, there is going to be um, opportunities that do come forward that will put you in a much better place later on, you know, in time where you will be able to go forward with that uh, project, okay? But they are okay. saying to me at the moment that there, there are contracts that will be coming forward but I want to say to you I'm also being given uh, corporate I know that there's corporate contracts that or a corporate contract that will be coming forward for you but would you also understand please either um, studying or something else that will be coming up um, that you've either put on the side okay, in the past, but they're talking about something else coming up for you that is is going to be very, very beneficial for you. Now, I know that you do work. Um, so would you understand working sort of either self-employed or subcontracting? Um, I usually do W-2s, which you go through an agency and then they pay, they pay um, the employee tax and, and right. things like that. Okay. 
But this contract okay. tomorrow, it, the one that I'm interviewing for tomorrow, I would go in as a self-employed person. This is the change that I had to make to get to get even in front of them for the interview because they refused right. to do a W-2. They wanted a 1099. And I, I was refusing to do that before because I was I wanted to get a house. And I can't get a house really. As, uh, I can't flip back and forth between a 1099 and a W-2 status. I have to stay with one or the other. So giving up the W-2 status has probably put... Um, has probably delayed me getting the house. So that makes sense because this would be considered self-employment. Right. Okay. But I'm going to say to you, though, Lovey, that I know that there is um, a lot of referrals that will be coming your way. There's doors that will be opening for you, all right? And okay. with you working on a self-employed basis, you will be able to... Um, sort of dictate how much money you're looking for, all right? Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like um, yeah. So I do want to say to you that, you know, as it comes to um, buying properties and, you know, um, this will come in, lovey, but I just don't feel that it's going to come in just yet for you, all right? Okay. But they are talking about you. Um, things actually coming around, opportunities that are coming forward. I know that there's certificates and diplomas that will be coming forward as well. So I want to say to you that I know that there is going to be some sort of study that does take place. Now, whether it is, you know, a knowledge, a research or something on that, that basis, all right, but you will have um, accreditation that will be given to you as well, all right? Um, you know, your, your capabilities are much, much higher than you actually give yourself credit for. Um, and I do feel that, you know, a lot of the companies um, that you've worked for in the past... Um, would you understand either being I know you're actually standing on your own two feet now and you're sort of you know um, still wavering a little bit but they're saying you mustn't be backed into a corner okay now I'm not sure who this is that's coming forward but I, I do want to say to you I know that this is a gentleman that is coming forward and I know that he was connected to you in life all right so I don't feel that he was a father figure. I want to say I feel that it was a grandfather figure. All right? Okay. But he, he's telling me to tell you that you need to be standing your ground. All right? There are doors that will be opening for you. I'm going to say to you that I feel next year, 2018, is going to be quite a good year for you. One way or another will be a very, very good year. And I know that there will be a long-term contract that will be coming in. They're bringing in official papers here that need to be signed, all right? But I'm going to say to you, make sure that the T's across the I's are dotted before you sign anything, all right? Okay. Yeah. And do you know when that long-term contract is going to come in? This is going to be sometime next year. But I, I do uh, want to say to you that I feel it's going to come um, earlier on in the year because where, you, where you're where you going into um, or the interview that you've got tomorrow, all right, I really don't feel that there's going to be a problem with that. And I, I, I'm going to say that I feel that they will extend um, the time for you. So whether it is for three months or whether it is for six months, okay, if it's for six months, that's fine because that would take you up to the end of the year, all right? But there is something yeah. coming forward for you that's going to be very, very good, okay? Oh, great. Um, and and yeah. you will be able to build on that as well. You will be able to build on it. But, you know, they are saying you need to be putting pen to paper so you need to know what you're talking about. Okay. Thank right? you so much. 
You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome, lovey. Thanks. Sorry, can I just say when where does the month of April come in? Um, April that would be um I believe that's my dad's birthday year or month. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Because I think that's the gentleman that's here, isn't it, in spirit? That's probably my dad then. Yeah, yeah. Because I think that's that's why he just gave that as as a little confirmation there for yeah. you. Um, brilliant, Laura. Uh, well, listen, uh, you take care, and we'll uh, hopefully speak to you soon. And uh, yeah, thanks for calling thank you, in. Both. Thank you so Bless much, both of you. Thank you. You're welcome, yeah. lovey. You're welcome. Okay, uh, bye. Um, we've got something of a coup here because uh, we, we've got the dead uh, speaking live, um, as it were. We had some EVP, um, uh, which is uh, electronic voice phenomena, um, during the show. And uh, uh, David, the producer, has been working really hard um, uh, trying to, to isolate it. And uh, uh, we're going to hear that in a moment when he can set it up. Uh, but before I lose track of what's happening, uh, David was asking about um, empathetic uh, predictions of someone passing. And uh, he's recounting how he had a horrible feeling that something was going to go uh, wrong or happen a week before his best friend Jocelyn committed suicide. And uh, he says he had... And no idea the feeling was for her or about her, but the feeling stopped just before the phone rang from her husband to tell him what had happened. Um, and he says we can share that because we wouldn't do anything without um, uh, permission here. Um, but certainly um, that, it, that is something that also comes up in, in premonitions. Now, um, there are a lot of twins about in the world. And uh, my dad was a twin. My dad's in spirit now. Uh, and during the Second World War, he was interned in England because I'm half Italian. And uh, uh, at that point, the Italians uh, I had unfortunately signed this contract. Mussolini had signed this contract with Hitler. And so they were dragged into the war. And uh, there's lots of jokes about the Italians uh, 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 going to the winning side. Um, but it actually took an awful lot of strength to say, actually, we're wrong, it wasn't right, we're changing sides. Uh, anyway, that's an aside. Um, but my, my dad's brother, my uncle, that uh, has the same name as myself, uh, was killed on the road to Stalingrad. And uh, as I say, my dad was interned, and he knew the moment that um, his twin had passed away. So there are all kinds of connections there. Um, we're just going to see whether we've got this um, uh, EVP um now okay we're ready so we want you to listen to this very carefully um if you can make out what's being said uh because we're having a little difficulty with it um then do uh call in chat in skype whatever um but we're uh, we're ready to go for it now so um have a listen to this okay so i'm going to play the whole clip here first and then i'll play the two individual uh evps that i broke out in separate files here so here's the whole clip mm. Oh, I gotta turn the audio on to you guys. Here you go. You need to get everybody okay. together. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, lovey. You need to get everybody okay. together. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, lovey. You okay, so that was the clip. It's about seven seconds long, and I played it twice there. Um, let me mm. play. The first EVP out of that uh, isolated, so it's only about a second long. So I'm gonna just let it play like three or four times here. Together, 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 together. Okay. Hmm. And I don't know if you're able to make that out. So I wasn't. I wasn't certain about what it's saying there either myself hmm. on that one. Yeah, it is difficult, but um, okay. And then the second one, also about a second and a half long, and I'm going to play this one a couple of times. Now, this mm. one, this one, I'm not sure if the listeners or you are hearing what you think of that. Uh, uh, should I share what I think I, it says? 
Yes, please, yeah. Initially, I thought it said something else, but after I listened to it a bunch of times with the he- headphones on, it sounds to me like Open Up Sue. <laughs> so someone was trying to get a message through Sue, and they needed you to open up so they could get it through, because or you, or you were busy yeah. with busy with another spirit and wasn't wasn't listening to them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever we might be, we are human. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So there okay. you go so it's just interesting uh interesting stuff live on air you know live radio parent the paranormal um, and spirits are always around us okay. uh, absolutely would, would you would you think that the first one it sounded to me like i'm free i'm free hmm. Hmm. let's listen to that again oh. then maybe, maybe it is together 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 the second part does sound like free, doesn't it? Or something yeah. very similar. Yeah. That's, yeah. And I'm leaning towards pick me. <laughs> but I don't know why. Pick me. Pick me. <laughs> that may well be it. I don't, know. I don't know. It's, it's one of those Stop ones that's talking hard. talking to, to her. <laughs> it's one of those ones that's hard to tell. Some EVPs come through and the audio is kind of flattened down. So there's only like part of the information getting conveyed as opposed to where a human voice has multiple frequencies in it this is more like flattened audio so there's less frequencies involved so it's less intonation and, and it's harder to make out what the words are yeah 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 well that's interesting that's really interesting well uh, if they are saying pick me um hopefully we can pick some lottery numbers because that would help everybody <laughs> out <laughs> that's right <laughs> so if you're listening out there in spirit Come on, get your act together. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, please give us some lottery numbers. And I might even start doing it. <laughs> yeah, that would be the thing. Uh, you, you know, if we've got someone with a real sense of humour, they'll give us numbers and we go, oh, but they won last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my kind of connection. No yeah. good at all. Yeah, okay, that's uh, that's that's fun. In fact, um, uh, I've got a story to tell, and uh, uh, I, I won't name names, but um, a student of mine... Uh, was uh, we were talking about manifestation and they said uh, never works for them can't see how it works whatever um and so we did uh, we did a week uh, 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 on manifestation and they were looking for a lottery win and uh went through what i taught them um oh uh, okay um <laughs> Um, yeah, so basically I just got distracted because uh, one of the listeners said, um, it, uh, Ima whispers, to me it sounds like Twinkle Lee. Um, could be, I mean, that could be a nickname. Um, we're not sure. We, we'll, we'll listen to it a couple of times uh, privately and we may air it again before the end of the show. And see what that, we, I've um, got to say, Leo, um, hmm. my daughter... Hmm. <laughs> Her name's Kelly. Yeah. Okay. Um, and on her Facebook thing, it's Kelly Twinkle Breen. Ooh. Kelly Twinkle Breen. Well, that's interesting. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I must admit, I, I didn't hear Twinkle. I didn't hear Twinkle. Yeah. It's, um, I don't feel I did anyway, but um, you never know. You never know. Yeah, sometimes sometimes you have to listen to these things a few times because you, you, it's a bit like um, a, uh, learning another language. You need to get an ear for it so you get the kind of flow. So um, that's interesting. Okay. Mm. Well, um, going back to my student, so she, she decided she decided that she was going to follow the instructions that we'd given her, and uh, the week after. Uh, the week after we, um, uh, we said, we said, uh, the week after come back, tell us what's happened. Uh, so there were three there that didn't quite believe in manifestation. Um, all of them got something. Um, but then, um, what happened, uh, was, uh, she came back she went, Oh my God, I've won a tenner. 
Um, <laughs> and uh, cut a very long story short, in in um, in about nine months, um, she'd had uh, around twenty wins. Now, some of them were a few thousand, some of them were a tenner, some were twenty quid. Most of them were small. Um, but she she'd had a lot of wins uh, for some reason it's kind of come to an end now uh, who knows why um, but she'd had over probably a year and a half she'd had about 23 wins on the lottery um so uh, manifestation does work but it's yeah it's an interesting thing i just thought i'd share with you okay um where were we yeah we were talking weren't we um about um predictions and and uh, past lives and how uh, f- for you uh, and myself, so it- it's actually something comforting. So we can we can make plans. Yes, yeah. Um, are we talking about you know being told that we're going to be passing in you know x amount of time? Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I actually feel. Okay, yeah, it it really wouldn't, I'm not saying that it wouldn't bother me. I feel that it would bother me because I'd be leaving people behind, okay? Um, But to deal with the actual thing itself, that really wouldn't bother me because I know that there is somewhere else to go. Yeah, yeah. You know, Um, really know that there is somewhere else to go. Um, but it is the fact of leaving others behind. And I think that is that is something maybe that um, does bother a lot of people. Mm. Well, they, they do say that, don't they? You know, um, it, it's those that are left behind that, that, that are, uh, well, continue to suffer. But, yeah, yeah, it does. Um, but I think... Um, uh, uh, we've just had some more um, EVP uh, now, so it seems like uh, the dead really do want to talk live. Oh, um, really? So, okay. Yeah, there was a few things there, and uh, David's just said um, there was something else. There, there was two or three um, sounds which come through. Um, uh, without trying to give David too much to do, perhaps um, if he can um, highlight those uh, that again, then uh, fantastic um it's nice to be live in all kinds of ways so that's good (laughs) um yeah very true very true but but i think with um you know what we what we do with mediumship and what spirit's intention is to take away that fear and just say we do go on and i think uh, if we personally know it and we don't have that fear and stress in passing but also others that we know um they uh, yes they would miss our physical presence but i think they would be happy for us uh, uh because as you know so uh, when we go home uh, there's a huge reunion. They're very happy. Uh, and when we are incarnating, then uh, there's a little bit of sadness because we're away from them, but they know we're going to be back, you know, literally in a split second uh, mm. of, uh, of their time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, I have... I have also had messages come through to say, you know, it's, it's not only um, earthbound people, you know, that um, grieve. They also grieve from the other side because they're leaving family and friends behind. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, and whereas they can come in and, and listen, um, see us, hear us, feel us, you know, they can't always communicate with us. You no, know, I'm not saying like you and me. I'm I'm talking about people that you know um, find it difficult to open up to spirit or even believe. You yeah. know. Um, I mean, I've got a lovely story to tell. Mm. You know, I said to you that my phone was out of order. My landline phone. Oh right, yeah. I had a, um, an engineer come today. Really nice young man, right? Um, I mean, you've been to my house. Yeah. And, um, you know, I've got angel wings and 
um, all sorts of things, little Buddhas, all sorts of things all over. Mm. And we just started talking, you know. And um, it turned out that the cable, it was uh, the cable that I'd actually put in that had broken down. Okay, which meant that they would have to charge me, all right? Mm. Okay, so he said to me, what do you do? <laughs> and I said, um, I'm a medium. And he went, really? I said, yeah. And then he said, oh, my mum went to one of those many years ago, you know. Mm. Um, anyway, he said, how does it work for you? So I said, um, well, I just asked them to step forward and, and they stepped forward. Mm -hmm. So with that, um, his great uncle stepped forward. Mm. And I said to him, I'm being told that you've got a sister um, or half sister. And he said, yes, I have. Right. Bloody blah, bloody blah, blah. Right. Anyway, <laughs> he was standing there looking at me. And it was the way he said it more than anything else. And he said, I don't mean this with any disrespect to you. He said, but I feel really freaked out now. <laughs> and I said, oh, I'm, really, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to freak you out, but you did ask me how, how does it work? And he went, I did, yeah. He said, if you've got a card, I'm going to give it to my mum. <laughs> <laughs> and on the way out, he said, don't worry about the, the cost. He said, because I'll tell him it was the cable on the outside, not the cable on the inside. So you're oh, going to Yeah, bless his heart. I said, whenever you're passing here, if you ever need a cup of tea, just knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the way he said it, it was so comical. And the way he was looking at me, he said, you know, no disrespect to you, but I feel really freaked out now. I thought, oh, bless his heart. And I was the first <laughs> call of the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've, I've, got, I've got a story to tell you. Um, I, I did meet someone. I was giving out some cards in a pub, and um, this person said uh, to me, um, oh, I don't believe in all that rubbish and, um, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, how does it work? And they said, go and sort of prove it to me. So I wasn't going to say anything because I'm not really like that. But then out, out of my mouth came, I wouldn't do that again. And he said, what? And, and I said, uh, you really hurt yourself last night. Well, he went as white as a sheet. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not like that. It just spilled out. So um, someone was having a joke at his expense. But, um, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it's it's quite funny. Um, we're just going to go into a break now, and uh, we'll be continuing with the theme of uh, passing predictions, that kind of thing. Uh, if you do want to call in, it's nine one nine two nine five zero one five zero or Paramonia Radio, um, or you can get us in the chat room, and we may have um, another EVP for you to listen to. Not entirely sure because it's a lot of work isolating it. But here comes the break. Maybe not. I think I think David is working hard. <laughs> it's going to be one of those shows. David's working hard trying to uh, um, isolate that. And I've just got a funny little image of him with headphones on, sweating, sweat running down, thinking, right, I've missed that. Let's play it back. Um, so we'll, we'll soldier on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Actually, you know, going back to this young man, he was really, really interesting because – he said he doesn't believe in um, heaven and hell. He believes um, that there are different dimensions that people go to. Um, I, I would I, agree with that. Yeah, and I said, I, I was really quite shocked, you know, and, he, and he, he, he was talking about having read a book that somebody had written, right? Mm. You know, and he's saying when you think of um, some of the really evil people that have been in this world, you know, there can't <coughs> be two places that they can go, 
heaven mm. and hell, all right? Mm. Um, you know, and he said, I really do believe that there are different dimensions that they do go to because the way it was explained um, in the book, he said it was explained in such a way that you could take it in and mm. understand, you know? Uh Absolutely, absolutely. And I said, I, yeah, I believe you're right. I believe you're right. I said, when you've got people like, you know, um, notorious murderers and so on, um, mm. people that have done really bad things, they are obviously here for some reason, all right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, they've got to be forgiven for, for whatever they've done. But I also... Oh. Me personally, I actually feel that they have to go for a cleansing or a healing or, you mm. know. Um, they have to yeah. understand, don't they? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. We're just going to go for a break, Sue, and when we come back, we've got uh, one more EVP. Um, so uh, not only the live listening, but the dead are as well, and we'll see you after this break. Okay.
best of Rockin' with Doc. Come join me to explore the world of music and let it drive your soul. You'll hear songs like... Here I am. Rock you like a and this... About some classics like this. No matter what you'd like, you'll hear it here. Now on Saturdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Join me every Sunday for the All Song Request Hour where you, the listener, get to pick your favorite tunes. And Saturday for my weekly themed playlist. Have you ever wondered... What's behind the open door? Then tune in with host Maggie Renee and Vicki Johns every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Only on the Paramania Radio Network. back you're listening to paramania radio uh with uh leo and sue and we're having an interesting evening uh more than usual tonight because uh we're talking about passing and predictions and uh, not only have we got the live listening we've also got the dead because we've got some evps um a couple we've played um um, earlier so if you've missed that you need to get onto the archive straight away um, but during um, uh, after that um, we've also had um, a third one which David has been working very hard at and isolating again so we've got this um, this third EVP so we're just going to play this if you're interested have a listen uh, tell us what you think it might be if you've got any ideas at all and of course you can call in on um, uh, uh, 919-2950-150 Skype us on Paramania or join us in the chat room so we're just going to play this um, this third EVP from this evening's show live here we go. Well, they do say that, don't they? You know. Well, they do say that, don't they? You know. Well, they do say that, don't they? You know. Well, they do say that, don't they? You know. So okay. it sounds like I was talking to him. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Well, okay, so the first thing it says, it sounds to me like it's, uh, again, Sue, I think these are coming from your end, which is probably why they're centered, centered around you. It sounds like Guiding Sue, and then in the second part, I can't make out anything of what it's saying, because then Leo says something for a second, and then it breaks back in, and I'm not sure what it's saying the second time. Oh, well, let's have a listen again. <laughs> Well, they, they do say that, don't they? You know. Well, they, they do say that, don't they? You know. Hmm. I'll tell you what I have noticed. I don't like the sound of my voice. <laughs> <laughs> nobody does. Nobody, not you. No. Figure, nobody likes the sound of their own voice. <laughs> I know it just sounds so weird, but um, there you go. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. There, there. Um, it does seem to be uh, connecting with with so and uh, so fantastic, fantastic. Um, I don't know what the ratings are on on the on the live on the living, uh, and I certainly don't know what the ratings are on the dead. But they seem to be enjoying it tonight. 
<laughs> they seem to be like coming in. Sorry, they seem <laughs> to like coming in around me. That's for sure. Mm, yeah, um, absolutely. I've got, <laughs> I've got to say, I do keep going um, hot and cold here. Hot and cold. Ah. Mm. But that's always a sign, isn't it, that the spirit around when they're close and. Uh, uh, well, that's interesting. That That's really interesting. So uh, uh, not only do we thank the listeners, but we also thank uh, the listeners over there as well. It's been um, interesting. Uh, if anyone over there is uh, still listening and you'd like an interview, Sue and I will be l- glad to do it. So if, if you can manage <laughs> it, because we know you do manage it um, in other forms, uh, uh, not just EVP, but... Uh, um, uh, direct voice etc um, it'll make for one oh I was going to say one hell of an interview <laughs> <laughs> perhaps I should temper that but it'll make a great <laughs> interview <laughs> yeah it's like, that's like saying we're dying to interview you <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well there is that old joke isn't there about the hearse and why is it so popular because everybody's dying to get into one yeah. uh, but we won't we won't do that one <laughs> Too late. <laughs> too late. Oh, <laughs> damn. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, back to the kind of um, serious uh, thing. There is a, a website which um, uh, I, I haven't bothered researching because if I start to do things, I do. Um, sorry, <laughs> someone's making me laugh. Um, I do start to ground myself. Um, but there is um, uh, a clock on the on the web that has not only the populations and how many people are passing at any one moment, um, but it, it also gives you your estimated time of death. Uh, and that's based on uh, your your uh, your age now, um, and you fill in a short little form about whether you've had heart attacks and, and stuff like that, and it gives you an estimated. Now, I know that would freak some people out. I did it for a laugh, and um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I think I was dead a few weeks ago. <laughs> it's, not entirely, it's not entirely accurate. Um, <laughs> But um, so um, if if it's not going to freak you out, do um do um. In fact, um, uh, if you carry on talking, so I'm going to see if I can find that site because it it is well for me it's amusing because I don't take it seriously. So I know it may freak some no, people out. No, obviously not. Obviously not. <laughs> but you know, there may be one or two people that do take it seriously, um, and and probably could end up suing. You know, the uh, the company that have. <laughs> put this together well i mean it is done um as entertainment um but you know you do get sites out there um although i haven't seen them recently where uh that that, you know you can find a medium that will give you that kind of prediction if that's your thing and there's let's face it there's all kinds of weird people out there oh there's more than enough weird people out there believe me Yes, I've had one or two that have been sitting in front of me before now. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, and, exactly. and that have made me feel very, very uncomfortable, you know, in my own place. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, and also, um, I mean, this one particular gentleman. I've just found it before I interrupt you. It's called oh, the God. Death Clock. When am I going to die? And it's www.deathclock.com. Um, <laughs> and it's it, uh, calculate yeah, your why life are you expectancy. At things like this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's right. another one. Oh, God, there's loads of them. There's um, Sun Life, which is an insurance company. It says, find out the date of your death today. Wonderful. And there's another one called uh, Find Your Fate, the Death Meter. <laughs> so find there, your um, fate. Okay. Find, findyourfate.com. Um so there's um yes. And it's even on Android. How how wonderful is that? If you, you've got a few <laughs> spare minutes to um to kill to while find you're waiting out for when a you're actually, <laughs> to kill. I like that, to kill. Just to find yeah. out when you are actually gonna pass from this world. 
Absolutely. Okay. I found another one which sounds quite funny. It says, when will you die? Death clock says it knows. And it's usatoday.com. Um, it says, your dream or perhaps your nightmare has come true. The death clock is a site. Actually, I think it's referring to the one that I've mentioned. Death yeah. clock, yeah. Yeah, so oh, um, it's, uh, de- oh, hold on. It's deathclock.com. It's also deathclock.org. Uh, just in case you're in the... Uh, the wrong place at the wrong time so uh, if you've got a weird <laughs> sense of humor um there I was a sp- if i will actually try that or not i think i'll just take my chances <laughs> <laughs> well funnily enough i was listening to stephen fry on qi uh some time ago and uh, he's a great skeptic um uh, which which is fine for him, uh, but he mentioned a site which I think is offline now, and it's called SeeMeRot dot com, where they actually put um, cameras inside a coffee. Oh, don't! Yeah. So please. we're talking about bad taste and that kind of thing. Um, I think that's got to be the. Um, that's the ultimate. Yeah. I think it's the ultimate. Uh, for some reason, it's. Uh, I've just been reminded of Stephen Fry and that program. Um, but yes, yeah, so uh, do you know? I, yeah. I can actually tell you quite a funny story. I used to work in the South London Crematorium. Mm. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> selling graves and you know yeah. all of those things that go with it. And um, we was actually sent off. Myself and this other young guy was sent off to another crematorium to actually watch a cremation taking place. Oh, right. Yeah. And this young guy, he was grey. Okay. <laughs> he really didn't want to be there. I didn't want to be there either. Um, but, you know, they, they, they actually take the weight of the uh, casket of the person inside Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all computerised and everything, um, you know, and they start it off. They bring up the, the rollers, the tr- – the, um, what they call it? Um, but they actually put the casket on. Oh, um, uh, it's the like wheels. a little conveyor. The, the, yeah, yeah, the, the conveyor wheels. Board. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> And then there's a blowback of water, okay, because the fire has already started, Mm. okay. So they open the door, they push it in, all right, and close the door up tight. But before Mm. that actually happens, he's he's looking at me and he's saying to me, they're not going to take the body out of the box, are they? (laughs) (laughs) I said I should hope not because people actually pay for that. (laughs) They pay for the casket, you know. Um, And if they did, where do they put them? Do they sell them back, you know? Uh, Well, surprised me, but. (laughs) No, you know, um, the thing about it was there was somebody else that was there as well. And this lady, you can actually see through the glass, right, of Mm. all the flames and everything, okay? Mm. And um, and she stood there the whole time and was fascinated when the the top of the casket had actually burnt away and oh. the body sat up. Wow. It, it sits up because it the nerves and the nerve endings mm. um, react to what's happening. Wow. Uh, yeah, that that makes uh, that makes sense. That makes yeah. sense. Okay, um, if you keep us going for uh, uh, literally five seconds, I've just got something I need to do. I'm just going to weigh myself because I've <laughs> entered some information on the death clock and find out how long I've got. So give me two seconds. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is he up to? This is live radio. <laughs> I don't under. I really don't believe this man. Don't believe him, honestly. <laughs> It's your, ba- it's your bad okay. influence, Sue. In mine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny, though. Honestly, this this young guy, he was so scared they was actually going to take the body out of the casket. But you know, 
when I worked at the South London Crematorium as well, they, they built um, uh, like a crypt, okay, um, but they built it too small. So when they were actually putting the casket in, they had to unscrew the handles to push it into the – no, a mausoleum. It was a mausoleum. They'd actually made the boxes too small. Can you believe that? So you're at a funeral – and there they are, the undertakers, trying to push it in to the mausoleum, having to unscrew the handles. Wow. Yeah. So oh. how long have you got? How long have you got there? Um, hold on. I'm just uh, doing this. Uh, and it says, uh, okay, I just got to fill in my BMI. Um, okay. Check your death clock. Click. Um, oh, it's all going round, and there's a very helpful skeleton or a skull. Uh, seconds, <laughs> seconds to live: three hundred and fifty-nine thousand and ten and four hundred and five. So apparently, uh, my time is up on Tuesday, November the fourteenth. I did say at the end, at the start of the show, it would be November, uh, twenty twenty-eight. So um, perhaps not, <laughs> perhaps not, <laughs> not twenty fifty seven after all. But well, that'd be interesting, won't it? Um, if it does happen soon, I shall come back and be interviewed. <laughs> 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 and I don't, mad, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know who to be mad at. Yeah, I don't know who to be mad at. The little four year old that has been very accurate, or this. But I shall be suing somebody. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, if you want a, if you want a laugh, go 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 look at the death clock and um, have a giggle. <clears throat> anyway, there you I go. I will do that. I will do that just to see. Yeah, yeah. it'd be funny if it said, uh, uh, you know, twenty five seconds, twenty four, <laughs> and a bus comes through the front front of the house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being yeah. driven by a gnome. <laughs> <laughs> uh, or somebody that's been to a fancy dress party uh, as death with scimitar and everything. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> mm. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, we, we've gone from um, uh, uh, morbid <laughs> to extra morbid to... <laughs> To, to this uh, but hopefully it's been entertaining um, I'm sure some people would find that fascinating for all the kind of wrong reasons there uh, but <laughs> I'm sure they would <laughs> it's quite fascinating to see all the seconds ticking away you know it's now 288 and uh, it was at 405 so time is going by pretty quick yeah <laughs> Wow. Let's hope there isn't any, you know, people with psychological problems that are actually listening. <laughs> They'll be saying, uh, this guy's going to die live on radio. He's got 268 seconds to go. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's actually 2028. 20, Tune in then. <laughs> <laughs> November the 14th. It's a Tuesday, 2028. 20, uh, who, who knows? Let's have a look. <clears throat> 2028. Okay, 20, so you've got what? Um, uh, oh, I can't add up when I'm working. <laughs> I've got, oh, let's find a calculator. Was, um, nine years, nine years, is nine it? Nine years, yeah, I better get my skates on and get, get the bucket <laughs> out and, <laughs> Leo. and kind of go for it. Leo, I, yeah. just, I just put mine in and it said, I'm sorry, but your time has already expired. <laughs> 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 Live from the other side. <laughs> well, that'll be twice tonight because we've had the EVPs. It's all in line. Uh, what a marvelous program we have. <laughs> Certainly do. Produced by the dead for the living. It, it'll be a great slogan. <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad I did that because uh, uh, part of me was saying like um, uh, this could be in bad taste, but actually it's quite funny. And uh, David um, said that 
seemerock.com now forwards to Amazon. So yeah. I don't know whether Amazon are doing um, uh, uh, deals on coffins or anything. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, so yes, they are. They're selling coffins. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they do that here, but that wouldn't surprise me at all. But of course, they will do camcorders as well, so you you know you can get the whole package. Yeah, why not? <laughs> do you know where that saying um, that rings the bell comes from? Yes, it's it's from the Victorians, isn't it? Because they had a paranoia of being buried alive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they would have a bell that was next to the grave, and if you were still alive, you could pull the string. Well, you but know... What happens, what happens, though, if it's a very windy day? Well, yeah, somebody's going to get a fright. I just had a fascinating idea. I'm sure someone will make an app out of this. Um, but, you you know, uh, if you're not sure, get buried with your phone. Uh, but sod's, sod's law operating it will say you're out of funds oh yeah or well, no signal, no signal. <laughs> we're trying to locate you uh anyway um, <laughs> that's um that's six foot under yeah that's the show for tonight so i hope you've enjoyed it it's nice to be light-hearted at some times spirit love laugh as well so um we're, we're going to go um i'm going to go and drink a glass of champagne uh, while i can <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from her and goodbye from me <laughs> <laughs> look forward to hearing from you again